Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. If you don't know, the other day, there was a, uh, a, a, a hearing with the CEO of TikTok and members of Congress, even though it wasn't so much of a hearing as it was a literal versus match. Like, there's a reason that most people who are talking about it are calling it the CEO of TikTok versus uh, the members of Congress, the people on Congress. Because when I say that they did everything in their power to prevent that man from talking and to prevent him from answering the questions that he was asked and cutting him off at every breathing opportunity to do so and talking about reclaiming my time this that's not what I asked you and asking him questions and questions and expecting a yes or no answer when the questions are too complex and require more than just a yes or no to accurately answer is ridiculous it it's so far beyond absurd and i only caught the last two hours of it because i woke up late when i was intending to watch it but it just it was infuriating for more than just um them showing you know how like just racist and xenophobic they are because they were calling him out of his name they were calling him the incorrect name they kept saying china this china this china that but the man is from singapore they kept addressing him as chinese and he kept saying over and over and over i'm from singapore we're based in singapore but you know everything in their power to dehumanize the guy right and on top of that it was it was reminding me of a hearing that happened in, I believe it was 85, 1985, where they were, they were having the, uh, the, 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 the heavy metal, uh, discussion because blah, blah, satanic panic and all that dumb shit. But the difference is that they let that guy, um, name was D D something I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now but they let him speak you know all eloquently and logically because you know I mean, let's just be honest bro was not non-american whatever and so they let him say whatever he need to say get out everything he need to get out blah 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 and now you know many many years down the road it's someone else's time to plead their case and talk their talk and, you know, dispel all these inane things that are being brought up, all these inane things that are just flat out untrue and whatnot, and they refuse to let him get a single word in because that's just how they are. Whatever. They do everything in their power to... Make it so that there was there, there was no hope of him ever getting a word in to change minds to uh, get the truth of the situation out there and whatnot. Because uh, I came across a uh -oh. whoops, sorry about that, buddy. I came across a video clip. Of where it was said that one of the people that was going to be there had already made up her mind like like ages in advance and was just automatically against it though you know to be fair and logical they were gonna be against it from the jump because their money their, their, their pockets were already lined with lobbyist Facebook meta Instagram money or whatever and fucking Rad bastard, ugly lizard, Zuck, being all upset that people are using something that ain't his 
and um trying to do everything his power to smear it and to get people to use Facebook and Meta and all that other crap. And then, you know, it also came to light that uh I guess at a point in time, uh Mr. Chu was uh a student of his or whatever. And then he went and made his own thing, and uh, Big Zuck is jealous about that. Extremely jealous about that. And it's almost like if your platform wasn't full of crusty old dinosaurs who didn't take a single second to look into anything that mattered and willingly spread misinformation, and the website is designed and ran like garbage, maybe people would use the platform but also, if you paid the people who were, you know, making things on there and being content creators on there, maybe more people would be willing to use that. But since you stopped that and pretty much don't do it at all, of course no one's going to use your dog shit platform. But because you have such a fragile ego and are so pressed about someone else using a different platform, you start throwing out all this money and fabricating all this information and making this gargantuan level smear campaign for no real reason all because you're mad and then you I, I, I have full faith that like he very carefully worded uh, what was going to you know be in their script to say for their uh, a quote unquote hearing because again it was not a hearing it was them versus him and whatnot so you know they he put all that garbage information that he knew that those old cronies weren't actually gonna look at and pay attention to because they were asking really asinine questions like does tiktok need to access the wi-fi and it's like uh duh if it is an application that is social and requires the internet to see other people's things, of course it needs access to the Wi-Fi. Of course it needs internet access. What kind of stupid question is that, bro? And the the, the that one the the, the oh man, I'm I'm getting I'm getting annoyed about it because there's a lot of things that go into why I'm so frustrated about that but getting getting back to where i was going they were asking him dumb shit like like uh does, does it need wi-fi what well why why does it need to look at my face and 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 pupil dilation seriously he he was being pressed about does tiktok scan your face to see if your pupils dilate when you see certain things it's like, no, what? It scans your face it, so it can see where your eyes are if you choose to use an eye filter. How else is it going to know where your eyes are on your face? How else is it going to know where a certain body part is that 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 that's such a stupid question that I literally looked at my phone in raw disbelief because I was really struggling to process what I just saw what I just heard it I was like there's no way that was a legitimate fucking question but it was a legitimate question and I could tell just how confused he was when he tried to answer it because he's like, uh, yeah, it, it, it does. Like, come on, man. These are the same people who, who can't work their way around a phone. These are the same people who can't work their way around a, a, a simple, a, the most basic of automated anything. And yet these are the people making decisions for us. These are the people that are, are 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 making such monumental level decisions that affect everyone. 
These are the people that do that? I... No. No. No, they... It just the same way that there's an age gate to be a president and other forms of politicians, there needs to be a hard limit of which you can no longer serve on any level of Congress or Supreme Court because that was just absurd. There is no way you can convince me that those people were in their right mind asking correct-minded questions. There's no shot. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I refuse to accept that as such. I refuse. Because that, that was genuinely infuriating to look at. And then and then that, that one other old crony talking about when am I going to get paid for my data being sold? And it's like, first of all, first, for, for, first of all, Ain't nobody selling your goddamn data. Second of all, good good job of showing just how about the bag you really are and how much you, you know, claim to care about all this because that dude was so, so mad about him not getting paid. When am I gonna get paid? When am I gonna get paid? When am I gonna get paid? Like, bro, bro, who are you? You, you are, your pockets are already lined with Zuckerberg's money and other lobbyists' money. Why do you suddenly care about getting paid for something that literally isn't happening? What, what, why does that matter to you? Why do you care? The reason behind why they care so much is riddled and addled with them just wanting more money that they don't need and wanting to control the words and the thought process and the speech of the masses that's all they really care about at the end of the day let's be honest they don't care about the kids excuse me they don't care about people's data they don't care about security concerns they don't care about privacy they don't care about anything the only thing they really care about is how much money are they going to see from this if at all and how can we take more and more and more control away from the people that we're supposed to serve by the way because the other thing that like really agitated me is that every single thing that they were raging against TikTok for can and should be applied to Facebook, Instagram, Google, Snapchat, Twitter, all that. Because unlike TikTok, Facebook constantly has data breaches. There's there 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 were a lot of reported data breaches on other platforms for years. It was really, really, really bad at a point in time where it constantly kept happening. And people had to had to keep on changing their passwords and changing their passwords and going to take extra steps against, you know, their data and their privacy and whatnot. But yet, but yet, on an app where it has been proven and shown that it has not happened once it's a problem it, it 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 needs to be banned it needs to be taken care of and yada 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 you're fighting you, you you're fighting against something you're fighting for something that literally isn't happening that literally is not true but but yet when it comes to being a fucking politician the money makes them dance. The money dictates their every waking moment and whatnot. Yeah, the money makes them dance. The money makes them do whatever the highest payer tells them to do, tells them to say and whatnot. They don't have any thoughts of their own. They, they, The way they treat the average person as a mindless drone with no mind of their own that's exactly what they are when money 
gets involved in it. And it, it it's absurd. It it's truly, truly disgusting. And these are the people that are have our best interest in mind. Yeah, fuck you. Oh fuck yourself, please. And, and then like there was another thing that really annoyed me about it because they were fucking what was it? Crenshaw, fucking one-eyed bastard, talking about Oh, and to all the people who, you know, think we're just old and out of touch and don't under, don't understand anything, you gotta remember you have your best interests in mind, and well, you don't care about us. You don't. You never have. You're just saying that so that the old people who bend the knee at your beck and call are gonna sit up and be like, You see? See? Look, he cares about you. Shut the fuck up. In the most disrespectful way possible, Shut the fuck up. You don't care about us at all. And it would be heavenly if you'd stop lying like you did too. <sighs> anyway. The other thing that got that has me so heated about all of this is that it's not going to stop at just TikTok. It's not gonna stop anywhere. This this whole banning of TikTok thing is quite literally an attack on everyone's free speech, right? Because the Restrict Act, or Bill S-686, however you want to address it by, it's so vaguely worded that it can, if they deem fit, to just put a hard stop on any kind of conversation that you know government officials don't like or whatnot like it's not gonna stop at tiktok if if the tiktok ban goes through which you know to be honest it probably will um it's not gonna stop there it it it, it can and it will probably affect like twitter and Reddit, and shit, probably YouTube, probably Twitter, probably any other social media content that, you know, fosters conversations being had, and whatnot. Because that's another, that's the other reason behind why they're trying so hard to hit the brakes on this, because they don't like the fact that the people that they are ruining the lives of are having conversations, or freely trading untampered knowledge. Knowledge and information that isn't being affected by those in office, by those in power. They don't like the fact that people are being informed about important things and it's not being filtered through them. People don't like the fact that the things that are discussed are being talked about freely and objectively with sites and um references and definitive proof about these things example being talked about freely and they don't like that they want to control any and all manner of information in amongst the younger crowd by the way because this really isn't going to affect anyone above the age of like 30 let's be honest it's not going to affect them they're trying to do everything in, our, in, in their power to stifle our capacity to have conversations, to talk about the things that are important, to make people aware of what's trying to be pushed through, and so that the, pe the younger people can maybe, possibly, put a stop to that, can object to it, can vote against it, and whatnot. They don't want that to happen they don't which is why the main reason why they're hitting TikTok first because they know that most of the people that do use the damn thing are younger folk right it, it, it ain't no old heads ain't no OGs using TikTok as often as someone that's like in their 20s or below and whatnot 
and I'm and an old older person using TikTok like that. And an older person use use social media in general like that. Be honest. Come on, get a grip. Get a grip. So they target our manners of having conversations and talking to each other and whatnot because if they snuff out and stifle the young people first and we already don't get listened to enough like we should targeting us first will make it easier for them to do everything else that they want to do and like no one is really paying attention to that. And when I say no one, I mean the people around me. I mean the people in my age group. I mean other content creators, other people in general. No one is taking the time to give a true damn about this because they think that it won't affect them when it will, when it is going to affect them. They just don't want to accept that because oh well i don't like being political tough shit you little pussy bastard it doesn't matter if you like being political or not it doesn't matter if you want to talk about it or not it's going to affect you it's going to affect you whether you like it or not and that, that that's the other thing that has me so annoyed about this because just as i said people in my age group and other content creators especially vtubers english speaking vtubers based in america specifically you people are the ones that get on my nerves the most about this because for as long as i've been a VTuber and observing the community and interacting with people in the community, I have seen time and time and time again, almost immemorial at this point, of VTubers being like, well, I don't like talking about politics and politics is the worst thing you could do with the VTuber and you shouldn't talk about it, you should just be focusing on content creation and fostering a positive wholesome and welcoming community and you shouldn't talk about politics ever because it makes people uncomfortable newsflash what you willingly choose not to talk about is only going to contribute to your downfall whether you want to accept that or not because the point the the point to this right is that by you choosing not to use your platform to talk about extremely important matters, you are doing yourself and your community a disservice. Because to add further clarity and add further context to what I just said, the people that go on about, I don't like talking about politics, they mean they don't even want to talk about voting for Christ's sake. They, they, their life is so comfortable to where they don't even want to tell people to go out and vote. And you know you got a problem. You, and you know your fucking privilege is all hell. To where you can have a platform to where you can say something as wild as, I don't want to talk about voting because that's political. Are you serious? Are you serious? There, there, there's no way that actually came out your mouth and you mean that with full authority with your whole chest you've got to be joking I'm waiting for the punchline and normally there is never a punchline because they mean it and the other thing that aggravates me when it comes to VTubers going on at length about why they refuse to talk about politics is because they they use the they use the fact they don't know anything as an excuse not to talk about anything google is free the same way the same way that a lot of vtubers will get astronomically angry about someone that 
genuinely accidentally misgenders them or calls them the wrong pronoun or speaks on something they don't know about, they're the first person to say, Google is free. Go look it up. It's not my job to educate you. Take your own advice and use it for once. Because the amount of you people that keep on going about, well, I don't know this, I don't know that, uh, I, I'm not, I, 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 this, this, that, that, blah, 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 stuttering over their own words, finding any conceivable excuse not to talk about what matters. Instead, they just want to be on, ooh, ooh, this, ooh, ooh, that content, this content, that numbers, this community, that do yourself and your community and your numbers a service by taking at least 20 seconds to educate yourself about something and just let people know, right? Because there's so many people that have no real grasp about all of the anti-trans things that are being discussed, that are in the process of being passed through. No, very few VTubers, well, no, let me rephrase that. VTubers that ain't black have next to no idea about Jim Crow being reintroduced to, in, in, in Mississippi. They have no idea about anything that's being discussed and trying to be passed through in Florida right now. They have no idea about what's going on in North Carolina, South Carolina. They have no idea about what's going on in Tennessee, Oklahoma. Because, uh, 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 politics bad. I don't want to talk about it. It makes me uncomfortable. You shouldn't talk about that in VTuber. Politics shouldn't be included in VTubing. I need you cretins to realize that it's going to affect you too. Because behind the VTuber is a real living, breathing person. Behind VTubing as a whole, there are living, breathing people that this is going to affect in one way or another the same way that back in february when that stupid hogwarts game came out and everyone was talking about oh we need to stand up for trans rights and trans issues and it's time to stop being political about it and whatnot you all have such selective performative activism when you want to talk about politics because you think it's going to bring you clout and raise your numbers. Y'all are horrible fucking people for that. And that's why still to this day, I pick and choose who I'm going to interact with because I don't have the time or the mental facilities to deal with fake people like that. I refuse. I did it once before. I'm never doing that again. I refuse to give those people, those kinds of people, my time because it's going to go to waste. It's all, it's always, don't be political guys unless you can use it for clout and profit and to get some attention. Oh no, don't do that. And like, even in the outside world, like, you know, the real living, breathing world that a lot of VTubers and, 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 and content creators love to act like doesn't exist. I've had people ask me, oh, Fashio, why are you being so political all of a sudden? Why are you so angry? And it's like, newsflash, I've always been this way. I've always kept my hair up above the ground, keeping an eye on things that's going to affect me or the people around me. I've always paid attention to this. You just chose not to pay attention because you didn't want to hear about it because you were like, oh, this isn't going to affect me. This, this isn't going to, this isn't going to bother me in any kind of way. Case in point, right? Now this happened, I believe it was like last summer or something. But when, when, when the overturning of Roe v. Wade happened, there were so many VTubers that 
on one side were rightfully pissed off because oh hey what's that women's rights just got taken away because they no longer have autonomy over their own body and they can't do and do what they want with their body oh that's crazy people were right to be pissed off about that and then and then you had other vtubers one person in particular who was this community favorite uh, vtuber supporter guy whatnot he the, the, he was the main one going on about oh well you know it's just a stupid american problem and vtubers don't have time to talk about politics y'all need to be focusing on your content and the other issue is that when it comes to you know politics and the hive mind of the english-speaking vtuber community and whatnot there are people who the moment someone of substantial stature and size says something everyone and i'm I, and i know i'm exaggerating when i say this but everyone goes along with whatever bs narrative that they're pushing because when that useless cretin started going on about it's just an american issue stop freaking out about it it ain't that serious all of a sudden there were so many people being like actually you know what guys it's not that bad we shouldn't be flipping out about it so much and it's like bro do you not understand that that's going to affect you too like like it is oh i t You can tell that I've been very, very agitated about this for quite some time. But anyway, like, it's mindsets and mentalities like that that helps no one, that contributes to the downfall of everyone, that further contributes to the absolutely broken state of the world that we live in right now. Because, you know, going back on that, like, like it's being brought up again now, but when the roe v wade overturning happened there were people talking about uh the indian child welfare act that also being discussed of being overturned and whatnot and by the way if you don't know what that is you know haha google is free after all but in a nutshell that will quite literally allow the forceful removal of native american and, and indigenous children from their families from their tribes from their culture to be forcefully put into the system where they aren't going to be cared about at all no one knows about this because of the vtubers that tried to talk about it on twitter myself included that tried to use their platforms to talk about it myself included and many other people they just were ignored because again the hive mind consensus of Politics bad. Don't talk about politics. Politics bad for your career. Politics alienates your community. Politics invites drama. Yada, 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 yada. Now that we're at a point where things are growing worse by the picosecond and people's, you know, freedom of speech is on the line and whatnot, now, now, the people... That were once like, oh well, I don't care about this. This 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 isn't gonna affect me in any kind of way. Now, now that TikTok is on the line, which is a good platform to grow your content, grow your brand, you know, uh, get your stuff out there, make your name for yourself. Now that that's on the line, now they want to try and talk about it. Now they want to try and pay attention to it, and it's like. If you had been paying attention to literally anything in the past, you would have been raising a stink about this a long time ago. But, you know, now that their precious numbers are at risk and they may lose out on a huge platform to promote themselves, now they want to care about it. Now they want to try to cause a fuss about it. Where, where, where were you months ago? Well, where were you? Oh, wait, that's right. You were on the politics bad train. Don't talk to me about politics. Don't ask me to talk about politics. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't want to talk about it. Shut up. 
Don't don't sit here and try to grandstand now because a really good short form content uh, service is on the line of getting the boot in the states. And no, using it using a VPN isn't going to fix the problem. Isn't going to make it go away because included in the restrict act, if you are found using a VPN, you could pay heavy fines up to a quarter million dollars for using a VPN to access a social media platform. Using a VPN isn't going to fix this. You cannot use a technical problem to solve a legal problem. That's not how that works. That isn't going to help anyone or anything. You're just gonna be wasting your time and putting yourself at risk of paying money you know you ain't gonna have. And I'm I'm so pressed about this because it it it's so irritating to see the people who this is going to affect willingly and consistently turn a blind eye to it. Because they're either willfully ignorant or they just don't want to talk about it because they don't care. And it's like, why are you choosing not to care about something that is going to make your life worse? Like, just the same way how, again, in Florida, right? You've got DeSantis out here trying to uh, tamper with education, ban education, ban books, ban this, ban that, and whatnot. The the what 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 purpose does it serve to get rid of college organizations like the fraternities and the sororities? What purpose does it serve the general public to make it so that young girls cannot talk about their periods? They, they, they cannot discuss their puberty. Why are anatomy books being banned? Why are books being banned? Period. You don't care about the children. You care about the process of which information is taught to people. And you want to control that. You people in office that have power do not care about the things you swear to heaven and back that you do. You just want to control the masses as strongly as you can so that way you can make it so that you can reign strong so that ultimately at the end of the day, white, straight, Christian men can have control over everything. Just like how it was in the olden days and no one is paying attention to the fact that that they're doing everything in their power to take it back to those days before they die out. No one is is taking the time to even factor that into consideration. Because again, and not just with VTubers, but to the general youth at this point, people don't care about politics because it's drama. It makes them uncomfortable. They don't know nothing about it. It doesn't matter if it makes you uncomfortable or not. It doesn't matter if it's quote unquote drama or not. It affects you and the people around you at the end of the bleeding day. That's what you should be caring about because it's already bad enough that they started with abortion and now they're going after drag they're going after education they're going after social media do you people not understand that they're that they are publicly they're not hiding it anymore they are publicly showing just how deep rooted in fascism they really are but again as long as i've been going on about this I keep reminding myself in my head, we live in a day and age where if it doesn't directly affect them, they're going to do everything in their power not to care. When I say they, I mean people my age, I mean content creators, I mean VTubers, I mean people who have like 
really, really large, substantial, powerful platforms who are just turning a blind eye and not talking about it at all. And that is the highest level of disservice you could fathom, you could do to yourself and the people who you swear are, 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 are the people you care about. Because, because, God forbid this whole mess goes through and then they start to look at Twitch and YouTube as, as social media platforms. What do you, what, all these people that are so focused on things that ultimately don't matter at the end of the day when it comes to the real world, these people that are so focused on el on everything content creation wise, what are you going to do when the platforms that you worked so hard to cultivate and build for yourselves start getting censored and shut down hard? And I don't mean like TOS level of censoring. I mean, you cannot freely discuss the things that you want to talk about levels of censoring because some old crony has a problem with it. Some old crony has an issue with you educating people about things that matter. What are you going to do when that happens? Because you can't do anything at that point. It's, it's too late. And, 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 and if you think that I'm irritated now about all this, about people turning a blind eye and then choosing to care when it's damn near too late, when it affects something that they use and whatnot, if I, <laughs> if, if I start seeing people get up in a tizzy and really start using their platforms in the event that YouTube and Twitch start getting affected by the Restrict Act if it really fully goes through. If I see that happening, I'm going to go on such strongly of a warpath calling out people by name if I start seeing that. Because I remember quite a few people who made thread after thread after thread talking about politics bad this politics bad that it's drama i don't i i better not i better not see it i i pray that i don't see it because pe pe people love to go on about like oh well this person on twitter is bullying me this and they're they're attacking me this and that no no you're not being attacked you're not being bullied for anything you're being corrected about the inaccuracies and the misinformation that you're spreading. You are being called out for your extreme hypocrisy towards the situation. Because, like I said earlier, most VTubers, English-speaking VTubers based in America, most of them share the mindset of don't talk about politics it's bad however those same people will also be the ones using it in the most performative manner imaginable because like i said earlier when the whole hogwarts thing was going on and People were unreasonably being attacked for it. Those that were trans, those that were not trans. All of a sudden, it was politics this and politics that. And JK's, JK Rowling's politics this and what she uses her money for. What she funds her whatever for and whatnot. All of a sudden, it was okay to talk about politics then. But any time before that, it was social taboo. And... If you were to talk about politics, you would be treated as if you were the devil incarnate. Like, the amount of people I've seen being like, no one likes a 
political VTuber. No one wants political VTubers. No one wants to go to a VTuber stream and see them talking about politics. All of a sudden, it's suddenly okay when it's against someone or something that you do not like. When it affects you and whatnot. There are people who were who, who, who were, you know, heavily sworn against politics before Hogwarts came out, and then, so that they, they can justify themselves playing Hogwarts when it came out. They start getting, oh, so 80 different levels of political imaginable. Just so that they can justify themselves playing a stupid fucking game. That most people dropped after they finished the damn game. Like... Come on. Come on. I'm so I'm so sick of these people, man. And it's why that like the 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 number of VTubers that I do interact with is a very 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 small number. Like I I cannot be bothered to interact with VTubers that have no spine that are unwilling to talk about things that need to be discussed. If if they cannot get clout from it, or whatever. I hate that. They're easily the worst, most feeble-minded kind of people.